Hello from Jim from Tech Buzz and we've got the new Smooth Q4 combo in from Zoyun and it's the combo pack as you can see so that's what it looks like in the back there and it's a nice neat small design so you've got your app on Android and iOS to test out there too and let's get into it and have a look and see what it's all about and then we can talk some more about it when we get time to check it out for ourselves Okay, so in the box you get your service cards and that's it. This is what the case looks like, which is really nice, and it's a hard case as well. And you've got some Zion branding on the strap and of course on the zipper. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So there we go, so you can see you can get a tripod with it as well, which is excellent, and you've got the gimbal itself, and you have some other little bits and pieces in here. So we have a card, you've got your different colour things there, and you've got your cable, which is USB-C, USB-A, and Zion branded, which is nice. And we'll just have a little closer look at these filters, which are all magnetic, as you can see. Pretty nice. Okay. Tripod. With Zion branding. And, of course, the unit itself here. So... This is what it looks like. You've got your power button here, your port, your controls up all front here. Some LEDs on top and you've got a, another option here which we need to check out. And that's basically what it looks like. So let's see if there's any power in it to start with. Probably need to charge it up. Oh, sorry, pressing the wrong button. Seems to be flat, but it's new so often happens. But what we'll do is we'll check it out and see what it's all about. We download and install the app. And that is your tripod, just to give you an idea. So you've got a nice textured soft grip as well, which is really nice. And up front here you can see Q4, and basically how it's going to work. So we're not going to pull any of these because you can damage the motors inside. So we'll get it up and running. And you have another button here on the back as well. And you can see here is where your filter magnet will pop on as well. And that's about it. So we're going to get it set up and um, get the app up and running as well. And then get some samples and let you know what we think of it then after that. Stay tuned after the break. Hello, Jim Tech Boys. We've been testing out this Smooth Q4 after the unboxing. So we're going to go through what's on and all that kind of stuff uh, if you're into the gimbal scene. And this is the latest that's on offer from the company. And you've got your mains power here, other buttons here, it's going to go through your modes, your navigation here, as you can see, does all that. Pretty simple and effectively, which is nice. And then around here, you've got a zoom button, and on the back, you've got a capture button as well. So you're going to need your app to be connected to that, and you can start get going. So I'm going to show you the app now and what's in the app and all that. It's a pretty cool app, fully functional. And, you know, for the more uh, cinematographers you want there, high intensity producers, I'm just recording videos, but it's handy for me for the uncertain scenes. But at the end of the video, you'll see a scene just using the phone that's in it, and then it, it recording from the phone being in the gimbal. So just to give you an idea, as you can see, see the way the phone stays still if you're new to gimbals. The phone doesn't move, but the gimbal's in my hand, waving away like that. And I'll come back on the phone is where it was, where I left it. So that's basically how it works. So next up, is go we're going to go through the app. Hello, it's Tim Tech Buzz. We're back with the Smooth Q4 from Zion, their latest offering um, in gimbals. And they do a lot of gimbals at a lot of prices, which is affordable. I've been testing this out now for a bit. So you've got a nice, comfortable grip on here. You've got your left and right like so you're up and down like so your different modes which you'll just press to move along like so 
which do yourself you got your capture button your zoom here and another button on the back so i'm just going to open up the device again and i'm just going to quickly have a look so you got your create mode your templates quite smart edits online editing upload and quick edit so you've got a full suite of editing tools there if that's something that you need which is pretty cool in here you can see recommendations and all that there and you'll see other content creator stuff inside the app as well which is pretty good you know you can get an idea what people can do I wouldn't use it to the full extent as people in here would, but it comes in handy for testing stuff and all that kind of gear, which is pretty handy. So, again, it's different. So, in essence, if you've not used in Gimbal, if you see, I'm waving this in the air like this, and the phone isn't moving. So, that's the whole purpose of it. So, if I go into my camera, for example, here, you'll see now if I zoom, watch the bar go up there. And it'll drop down on the front here. And you can take your photos and record from there as well. Just by pressing the button there. As you can see, it's saving. And that's all there is to it. It's a non-complicated product, which is good. Because some of these gimbals can be very, very uh, difficult to use and hard to get a grip of. Which is a problem, but not with this one here. This is probably the easiest one I've used in a long time. And you can get straight to work, learn very quickly and get to work on what you like doing. And that's pretty much it. And that's all there is really to it, including the app. You have a, an app there to help you out. You have an idea of what other people are doing with it, but that's not kind of my forte. I just record videos and sometimes I might need to hold a gimbal to do shoots. It depends on what I'm filming or recording. So that's pretty much it. So overall, it's got a comfortable grip. It's easy to use. It's very, very robust like all our gimbals. And you've got a nice app to help you out there, should you need be. And you've also got this Cami app again, which I said. So you have your stuff in there to check out. It's up to yourself what you want to do. And you can get creating and use the app's built-in features to make videos. So next up, what I'm going to do is do a test holding this smartphone here. And then one with the gimbal. So I'm going to do walking and running kind of thing. So you'll have an idea of the difference. Because I've picked the phone here that uses it hasn't got the best stabilization. So you can get an idea of the quality. The last one I reviewed, I used an iPhone, I think. And this still made it come out better than the iPhone. And the iPhone has really, really good image stabilization. But again, it just proves a point to how the gimbal actually works and what the features are compared to your stabilization in your smartphone. So stay tuned after the break for that. So first of all, this is handheld with the phone we're using for the gimbal test. And we're just going to show you quickly the difference between handheld and using the new gimbal from Zion. Now we're connected with the gimbal, it's going to show you now the difference between handheld on your device and using the gimbal itself. much more stable and much better viewing. 